mean, since, since I started at art school in the mid-70s, I took my readings from fashion. That for me, that fashion was, was, the, was the most evident demonstration of the ideas of a zeitgeist and fashion's kind of touch points with other disciplines. I didn't know him personally, but you know, my attention did get drawn to his quoting of cult pop culture, which was predominantly usually British cult pop culture. And there's one word in particular that, that, that I picked up on, which I, I felt a great empathy with as well, and it's, it's the term interzone. I mean, it's actually a Joy Division song title, but it's a, it's a very appropriate word. Raph, Raph seemed to be very interested in the interzone. ourselves out of Paris back into an environment that relates to the environment we used to show in back in the days which was always in the film studios to do a certain kind of scenography but also to create a specific kind of moment and a specific kind of moment in time that that is uh, I think quite connected to the idea of the interzone when you think about audience the boys we work with us our thought process that moment that is going to be exposed and I find myself uh, ending up in interzones without knowing how to define it, but it's something that attracts me very much. If something is too clear, it's very often not so much inspiring to me anymore. All I can say about tonight is that, you know, very much about the collection, like this is what we think is interesting now, and you can just, you know, like, take it or leave it, hopefully take it.